Hello everyone welcome to GK today today's topic of discussion is India designated 10 new Ramsar sites so before moving further in this video let me tell you that with this video i will ask you two questions and you have to answer the question in the comment section so watch this video and answer the question in the comment section below your first question is which is the largest ramsar site in india option first chilika lake second renuka wetland third vimbanoor wetland and fourth sundarban wetland question number 2 Which state has the most number of Ramsar sites in India? Your option is Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, Bihar and Kerala. So now let's start with our video. Recently the Union Environment Ministry announced that India has added 10 more wetlands taking the total number of Ramsar sites to 64. The new sites include 6 wetlands from Tamil Nadu and one each from goa karnataka madhya pradesh and odisha the six sites which are included in tamil nadu are kunthakulam bird sanctuary gulf of mannar marine biosphere reserve vembanoor wetland complex vellore venthagal and udya marthanda puram bird sanctuary for your information let me tell you that before giving any site the status of ramsar it must be seen whether those sites meet the criteria for identification of wetland of international importance in which the first criteria refers to sites with representative rare or unique wetland types and the other eight are covered sites of international importance for the conservation of biological diversity so now one by one we will understand some important points related to these new ramsar sites The 10 Ramsar sites are some of India's most picturesque one. One of them are also important bird area. Significantly for the migratory birds on the Central Asian flyway that gets more than 20,000 birds each year. The first site is Kunthakulam Bird Sanctuary. Kunthakulam Bird Sanctuary is a man-made wetland in Tirunelveli district of Tamil Nadu. This is the largest reserve for breeding resident and migratory bird in South India and an important bird in biodiversity area forming parts of the Central Asian flyway. This wetland also irrigates about 190 acres of paddy. The second Nanda Lake. Nanda Lake in Goa has fresh water marshes that lie adjacent to one of the major rivulets of the Juari River. This enables the locals to store water during the off monsoon season. The lake is also a habitat for black-headed ibis, common kingfisher, wire-tailed swallow, bronze-winged jacana and brimini kite among others. The third is Satkosia George. Satkosia George which has also been included spreads along the Mahanadi river in Odisha. Established in 1976 as a wildlife sanctuary, Satkosia is the meeting point of two biogeographical regions of India, the Deccan Peninsula and the Eastern Ghats contributing immense biodiversity. The fourth is Gulf of Mannar. Bioreserve Gulf of Mannar is located in the southeastern coastline of India. and is a unique marine environment rich in biodiversity this is the first marine biosphere reserve in south and southeast asia gulf of mannar biosphere reserve is also one of the most biologically diverse region in india comprising 117 species of corals fifth is rangan thetu bird sanctuary located in the mandya district of the state of karnataka the site has been enlisted as one of the important bird areas in karnataka and in india by bombay natural history society it is also an ecological important riverine wetland of india rich in biodiversity with 188 species of plants over 225 species of birds 69 species of fishes 13 species of frogs and 30 species of butterfly the next is vembanoor wetlands in tamil nadu it is a human made inland tank 
Rambanur wetland forms the southernmost tip of peninsular India. This wetland forms part of the Indian Bird and Biodiversity Area that is IBA and hence part of the Bird Life International Data Zone. About 250 species of bird have been recorded in the district and the site hosts around 12% of the total non-breeding population. Now the next site is Vellod Bird Sanctuary located in Vedamgam Vellod village of the Perundurai taluk located in the Erod district Tamil Nadu India Vellod Bird Sanctuary provincially known as Periyakulam Yeri and it is one of the 141 prioritized wetlands in Tamil Nadu the wetland have been evaluated and prioritized considering factors like the ecology of the wetland earlier bird counts record of breeding and roosting colonies now the next is sirpur wetland it is significant historical wetland situated in indore madhya pradesh and it is not only important for the aesthetic value but it provides immense ecological services such as being an important source of water and helping ground water recharge in the downstream areas Sirpur wetland is also culturally important to the local communities of the cities. Ninth wetland is Vedan Thangal wetland. It is one of the oldest bird protected area located in Madurand Thangam taluk of Chengalpattu district of Tamil Nadu. This freshwater wetland is also a people protected water bird area. the history of which goes back to centuries where local people have been protecting this wetland now the last wetland is udya marthanda puram bird sanctuary it is located in the tirthu rai pondi taluk of tiruvarru district of tamil nadu it is one of the most important bird sanctuaries in tamil nadu and is it also important for staging and breeding ground for several species of water birds so this is all about the topic if you like it then do comment below and let me know thanks for watching and have a nice day